so this is the second video in the playlist on quadratic sequences and you'll see in this particular video I'm going to do exactly the same as I did in the first one because what we're trying to do is we're trying to come up with a quadratic sequence of which the general form is an squared plus bn plus c and the first thing that we do is we work out the difference between each of the terms and the first line difference is this so I've got 3, 5, 7, 9 and 11 and then the second difference as you can see from here is going to be 2. Okay now as I said in the previous video uh, most people are aware that this value here is the value of 2a so in other words in this particular sequence a equals 1 so that's going to be the first number that I'm going to put into here and I'd write that as 1n squared however just to tidy it up normally it's written as n squared. Okay the second thing that I do is I put three arrows at the top of my numbers here and that just reminds me of 3a plus b equals the difference between the two which is going to be 3. Now this is a little formula that you need to remember when you're dealing with quadratic sequences. So what we're doing is we're saying the first two numbers, the difference between the first two numbers is 3 and that equals the formula 3a plus b. Now there are reasons as to why that happens but if you remember it like this it does make life a little bit easier for you. Okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that value of a which is 1 and I'm going to plug it into this formula. So what I get is 3 plus b equals 3. So in this particular uh, sequence. If I take 3 from both sides it means that b equals 0. So that are my first two numbers that I'm going to put into this general formula. And then the final thing that you need to remember is this little bit of uh, formula which is a plus b plus c and that equals the first number which in this particular case is 3. So again I've got my value of a and b I'm going to plug that straight in. So a is 1 B is 0, C I don't know but that equals 3. Okay so 1 plus 0 is 1 plus C is 3 so 1 plus C is 3 so therefore C must equal to 2. Okay and that's actually the answer to this particular uh, sequence, this quadratic sequence. When I put this into here I get A is 1 so that's 1n squared plus 0n plus 2. Okay, just looks a little bit untidy at the moment, so I'm going to tidy that up. Well, 1n squared, we normally write as just n squared. 0n means nothing times n, so that's going to be nothing. And then I've got a plus 2 at the end. So in answer to this particular question, the quadratic sequence would be described as n squared plus 2. I hope that's been okay for you. If you're not sure, please do have a look at some of the other videos within the playlist. Add a comment below. I'll always come back to you. Uh, I'm going to do another few examples within this playlist, but you see I'm going to follow exactly the same blueprint when I look at uh, all of these quadratic sequence questions. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.